Okay, so here we go. Hello on YouTube. This is the Bookshelf Limbo by Deconstruct Team. And I can't speak Spanish, and most viewers probably can't either, so English. Let's go. Hi, I was looking for a comic for my father. I don't think he's ever read one that I know. Something short and self-contained would be ideal. That shelf? Oh, that looks perfect, thank you. So yeah, it's a lift game and that's what it's all about, looking at comics and finding one for their father. At least it isn't just Australians being particularly stupid then, no, Germans are very good at being stupid like that too. Yep, and also people are being very racist towards Asian people. Super stupid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This, okay, this is the only screen we have here. Um, let's start here. A forensics artist. Mohammed is an eminence in the field of digital forensics. Oh gosh, lots of reading, great. <laughs> FTC, that's so shitty to hear. He has been tasked with dismantling the lies of a virtual cult, which is filling the web with this doctored images of otherworldly beings. Failing to prove them fake, the forensics artist and the reader. I hope the sound is okay. Let's say it if it's too loud. <laughs> no. But Australia is kind of renowned for that too. Oh, by the way, if I upload this on YouTube, which I probably will, I'm just talking to the chat for me, right? So, right now it's about coronavirus, what else? <laughs> um, yeah, in Germany we still also have some people who are being racist and they take coronavirus as an excuse to openly, openly be racist, which is shitty. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Heading to prove them fake, the forensics artist and the reader will gradually dwell into a spiral madness and self -talk. That sounds interesting. Woodpeg Queen. Oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> and Bakir Kavan. I don't know how to say the words. I am um, working perfect tandem for this heart-stopping thrill. Easily among the top five horror works of 2015. Again, Bakir the name differently there. I don't know. Postulates himself as a true master of the genre. So this game is about finding a comic for as a gift for your father and he's never read anything before and there are many different comics as I've heard and yeah. I don't know if there will be like a reaction if you see what if you will see one or if it's just about exploring this and thinking about it. Earlier. And also on HIO, people um, share what comics they've chosen and why. And I just want to look at all of them and then think about, hmm, what would I do? <laughs> and it's pretty related, relatable because my father's also never read a comic, I think. I don't know, maybe it's a kid book. Whenever he's like watching Marvel movies, I just explain everything to him. I mean, I, mean, I don't read that many comics either. I have Jessica Jones comics and The Dark Order from Derek, uh, the Black Order, Black Order um, from which Derek Landy wrote, my favorite author. And then I also have The Pulse. Yeah, that's it. Because Marvel comics are freaking confusing and expensive to get into, so. I stick to what I read online and hear from people and get some comics which I hear about are good or are from my favorite author, like Derek Danny, in the case of the Black Order. <laughs> Let's don't get him the 120 Days of Sodom by the Marquis de Sade. That book sucks and isn't even finished. Okay. Um, check for online. I 
Internet that like here called Kawam. Kawam? I don't know. Use actual footage from federal investigations. I had nightmares for months after finishing this comment. Extremely recommended if you, as many of us, know that there's something else beyond this dimension. It sounds really interesting, but also creepy. <laughs> like X Files, but in front of a computer. <laughs> Enjoyable even with its recurrent pitfalls into the lies. Gosh, some words might get complicated to pronounce here. I can't even speak today. <laughs> it's time we stop stigmatizing mental health issues in media, guys. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay, we started here. Let's continue. The Garden of Your Mind. Do you struggle against your inland empire? Is the eternal dialogue indomitable? Indomin indomitable? <laughs> oh gosh. Do you wish you could keep those intrusive thoughts in check? Maybe you should stop fighting them and lose yourself into the garden of your mind. Hmm. A revolution? A, re <laughs> A revolution in the field of self help comics. Hmm. Essential. Gosh, I think my father would think I'm weird if I. <laughs> Invisible web. <laughs> Invisible. <laughs> um, I guess my father. My, my father isn't about psychology at all. Like he thinks that, that psychologists want to tell you what problems you have. So. Mm, and I'm very into self help and going to therapy. I like that. I think it's a good way to help yourself if you have the option to. And it's very, very helpful. It helps me a lot. It's like putting time into self growth. I very much like that. And uh, my father is like, I, I think he likes, he thinks it's good. And it helps me. But for himself, it's like, I don't want people, people to tell me what problems I have. And I'm just like, no, that's not how it works. So I don't think he would like this part. A great introduction. Although I would like to, like, show him something. Or let him read something and be like, so what do you think now? <laughs> but he wouldn't do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great introduction to transformation. Transformation. Hello, Tango. Thank you for, for joining. Check for online books. Colors in this book are out of this world. The philosophy is quite blunt, though. Okay. <laughs> I've read it about 40 times already, a masterpiece. It's funny because it really reflects what reviews can be like in real life. Like one review is like, this is bullshit, and the other is like, this is a masterpiece. <laughs> yeah. My mother loved this comic book, shared with her loved ones. Hmm. You click on it again, won't work. Yes, okay. Burnt Bridge Redemption. <laughs> A man on a mission, demons walking walk among us. They feed on our thoughts and disguise as our women. We pour their drinks, we clean their cars, but that's about to end. Ryan, armed with two swords and a cannon bike, will hunt these beasts off to <laughs> off the ill city of doom. Hello everyone. Oh, please tell me if the music is too loud. I will turn about down a bit. I can never really tell myself, so yeah. I turned it down a bit, I think. And yeah, it does get a bit louder sometimes too. Oh, FTC, good night. 1.30 a.m. Yeah, that's that's early. Good night. <laughs> okay, um read quotes on the back. Keep well FTC. Francis Millen at this at his bed. If I had to pick a personal favorite, that would be Burnt Bridge Redemption. Old and unap unapologetic. You're in for a ride with Burnt Bridge Redemption. Burnt Bridge Redemption, oh gosh. It's a, it's a tongue breaker, do you say that in English? No. Um, the gore is exquisitely depicted and the stories have something that just re resonates with you. A masterpiece for the ages. I would probably want to read that. I mean, it's not that I'm totally into action and gore, but if it if it, it has a good story as well, and this is not just mindless madness and violence, and yeah, then it's interesting. Visually, visually stunning. I can't speak today, sorry. Needs more blood. <laughs> 12 out of 10. 
fucking good. Ryan Adventures are a guilty pleasure of mine. Even if the writing is a bit problematic, the action is really well drawn and the main character is stupidly cool. Mm -hmm. I'd give it a chance if I get the option, get the chance to vote for But I wouldn't, definitely wouldn't give this to my father. <laughs> so, or definitely, I don't know, probably not. I mean, everyone has different parents, so. Essays on Empathy. Oh, that's, 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 oh my gosh. Those are games by, um, Construct team who developed Bookshelf Lemon. Well, I'm just going around with the mouse. This is 11:45, a vivid, vivid life, which I also have on my YouTube channel. And this is, gosh, I played this on my own. I should maybe, maybe, maybe I could record this for YouTube as well. It's what is it called? Gosh, it's about the, being the playing the woman and uh, the wife. And how she like doesn't really have anything to do, or like does the same every day, and people complain to stuff about her. And he's an artist, but then he gets injured, as you can see here. Such beautiful pixel art, and yeah, it's a struggle being in her position. And this is Eternal Home Flores Tree, Flores Tree, which I tried to play, but it, it didn't work on my computer, so. Gosh, this might be my pick already. This is such a cool game. You can watch it on my YouTube channel. <laughs> it's like, how long is the episode? 50 minutes? I don't know. Or 45? Something something between 40 and 50 minutes, I think. Three stories by the Deconstruction Creative Collective and Collective. Tackling themes as diverse as body horror and self-acceptance. This one. Um, oppressive dynamics in a heteronormative couple, this one, and the struggle of a gay hitman working at a flower shop, this one. Oh, I, I still want to play it, but it didn't work when I last tried it. Maybe I should try it again. I really want to play it because it looks so beautiful. I just, I got started and like, started with the first task, and then it just started crashing every time I tried so. Yeah. Reach ports on the back. More than food for port. These stories should be selling by the moment. Oh, people want you to Oh, they are my friends, but these bastards are also really good. Oh, can't stand these pretentious fucks of the two end for the famous publishing label. They'd be dead on a digital hitman story. It's cool though. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I guess they get. They truly get such comments. Oh gosh, no. I can't get enough of this team, I just wish they didn't take that long to release their stuff. Three years to make this? Come on. Oh, it's hard being... Uh, being a developer. Not bad. <laughs> Great. Mandatory reading material for my students. Cool. I will probably choose it. Let's keep looking. Uh, what is this book? It was this one right here. How bad to I read you and I feel more free. A series of illustrated poems about hidden pleasures. Caressing a silky rug, the smell of a wet earth, picking a good melon at a fruit store, words and images to reframe everyday actions and discover a new lens to enjoy life. <clears throat> my throat, oh my god. <clears throat> Warming as a ray of sun on a winter morning. This book made me... <clears throat> Sorry, gosh. That's probably awesome in the microphone. <clears throat> this book made me fall again in love with tea. I wish Alberto was a real person with whom I could share a flat. I will drink something for a second. I also have a full bottle, so I'm prepared for six hours of streaming. Yeah. Full bottle of water, of course. Illustrations are cool, but the poems are pretentious garbage. I'd rather just spend an afternoon browsing the event. Thank you. I'm sure. <laughs> the Emperor of PT again. Why does he buy that stuff then and review it? I am in love with the author's sensibilities. I keep coming back again and again to this book. I'll read you and let you know. Okay. Oh! 
Oh my god. <laughs> um, which <laughs> no. I think it's okay. No, it's a flex to the Freud Different, how do you say sexualities? Okay, I should have this come out. <laughs> Sex Stories is a self contained comic book anthology erotic. My stream is marked as 18, so. Um, explicit irreverence. Do I even know what the word means? I don't know. Funny and liberating. We talk about sex, sexuality, and gender from totally different perspectives. Here you won't find the typical, and if you go in, you have to keep an open mind. <laughs> Smart, sensitive, sensual. Sex with an emphasis in diversity. Erotic stories to feel proud about. Ah, oh, the, the one we read. That comic book is also available. <clears throat> one for social justice warriors discussing. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's some quality reading material. <laughs> Sex stories made me reconcile, reconcile myself with my body. I reconnected with masturbation in, in a very intense way. <laughs> Nice reviews. Probably the best erotic content produced in Spain. This series has furies in it. Furries? Oh gosh, furries. Yeah. Um, five million stars. <laughs> okay. Um, speaking of quality with this... Uh, there, hello. I see you. Ah, there. Uh, can I move? No. Okay. Um, speaking of, how do you say it? Erotic stuff mixed with quality. A game that's unfortunately I can't stream it because I can't live censor stuff. Um, yeah, that's unfortunately not allowed, uncensored, on YouTube or which, and understandably so. Um, is the second part is called Lust for Darkness, and the first one. I forgot it. Or oh, was Lust for Darkness the first one? No, Lust for Darkness was the second one. Hello, Payton. We talk about really interesting stuff right now. Um, yeah, Lust for Darkness. A game that tastefully mix mixes horror with erotic stuff and Lovecrafty and stuff. It's so interesting. It looks so cool. <laughs> I can see you. Yeah. Okay, next. Uh, on to the next one. The Golden Derelict. A thought-provoking miracle amidst a generation of grand and uninspired punk graphic novels. <laughs> the super continent, the super continent, okay. An existentialist graphic dissection. Father and son climb a remote mountain with the mission of restoring their family's old cabin. The waters around the place run golden, make flowers grow stronger, and fruit return. But in fruit to turn out more savory. Drinking the golden water allows father and son to visit each, each other's dreams and connect in a way they never expected to. Okay, that's interesting. Why does golden water make me think of uh, Greek gods? It just golden stuff, golden blood, golden water. It just makes me go there. Uh, I read too much Law Olympus. It's never too much Law Olympus. It's a webtoon comic, by the way. Um, Greek gods in the back. A masterful exercise in visual storytelling. Avant garde in every possible way. Inspirational. This book truly understands what it is. What, what is it to fail to meet your parents' expectations? The drawings are ugly, but I ended up in tears. Hmm, that sounds interesting too. They should stop con. Consent conceding grants to hipster fucks with no talent. Oh, <laughs> the Emperor of Pity, oh gosh. He, he's really salty in his reviews. Am I being too loud? I might be. Tell me if I'm being too loud, by the way. Because I sometimes get into the red area with my mic microphone. Okay, I'm gonna change the volumes a bit. Sometimes I really have no idea about that I guess I don't know. I just randomly play around, I don't know. And then I hear my 
and then pry it. Okay. I'm moving my microphone. Wait a second. Is that better? Yes, the music is so beautiful. Deconstructing really does beautiful music. I have no idea. As a state, I look into the recordings and then I'm like, damn, why didn't I turn this up all this time? Or why didn't I turn this down? I'm like, wow, ah, it's so hard to get it right with every game, also. <laughs> yeah. I will probably have to change it for the stranding later. Um, <laughs> yeah, probably. What a marvelous deconstruction of the page. <clears throat> I don't think all you while you stream is impossible, I swear. Yep. <laughs> Indeed, pain. <laughs> um, at first, the plot is hard to follow due to the wandering sequences. I don't know that word. <laughs> but on a second read, the subtext is just my plot. Hmm. Wait, those were the online reviews. Yeah. Yes, of course. I can't skip though, right? Ah, I can. You read that, right? Yes, okay. Avant garde. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the first comic for someone should be avant garde. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think there are so many options. This one. My cute neighbor. Oh, I saw that online. <laughs> Popinski is a very cute cat and he loves to look at the street from outside of his window. For the first time, the integral work of critically acclaimed comic strip artist Renaud Patel collected in a deluxe edition. I'm gonna change the height of my screen for a second, right? Okay. You might have heard that. Better. Otherwise, I, I have to slouch so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But every story loses humanity. <laughs> this is what life is truly about. <laughs> everyone, and I mean everyone, should read me more puzzles. It would be a cute entry to comics. Like we are reading Popinski's adventures every week. This edition is fantastic. I'm not a fan of the recoloring though. If you don't like Popinski, I'm afraid you don't have a soul, so <laughs> unequivocally perfect no matter how you look at it. <laughs> the Emperor of BT, there we have a positive review. <laughs> uh, if you have something negative to say about Popinski, I will find you and I will find you. Also a coach. Magic Treaty Illustrated yeah. um, with sequential art written and designed by the mysterious author known only by pseudonym Witch Fortuna. Like uh, 1960. <clears throat> um, there to explore this out of its time narrative piece about divination. Divine? Divination? Divination? Divination. Meditation and cosmology. It only has a poem in the back. Stranger to my soul, invade my body. Stranger to my soul, invade my mind. Grant me an eye to see beyond my penance. Take my pride, my sorrow, my chains. Turn them, turn them into power, wisdom, revenge. Stranger to my soul, invade, invade my magic. Stranger to my soul, become my faith. Uh, that made me feel something. I hope this book isn't cursed. <laughs> Okay. This is the real deal, guys. Chills up my spine every time I read that page. <laughs> Spooky. Not a negative one, okay. <laughs> we need to stop already with the glorification of hippie drug induced fantasies. Esoteric garbage. Okay. Let's keep looking. Um. Page, we had. Okay. Nothing. Neon ping pong lovers. <laughs> they are lesbians. They are polyamorous. They are unstoppable. Megan Lola and Q 
Casey are the talk of the town and they plan to leave an impression at the augmented reality ping pong con competition of Le Grand st Station, the most famous space town in all of Andromeda. Okay. <laughs> nice calorie. Um, I love that cover art so much. This one? It looks cool. Oh, the, 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 the one before. I think this one. Sometimes, yeah, I don't know how, how long I haven't looked at the chat, but it's cool. Um, oh, it doesn't come with any quotes. It just says, your world is about to get ping pong to the max, baby. <laughs> ping pong art is so wonderful. Yes! I mean, I'm not the greatest fan of pink, but somehow, in certain spaces, like in my banner, in my Twitch banner, I really like it, like with um, other colors together, it's so cool. And it's one of those colors, like when I hear cyberpunkish music or futuristic, mu futuristic music, it's just uh, turqu turquoise and this kind of neon pink. Those are the colors that pop up in my head when I listen to such music. Yeah. And I really like those colors. <laughs> yeah. Futuristic looks like. Yeah, and neon colors are so cool. Uh, why? The comic is good enough as it is. Marketing guys shouldn't try this out. <laughs> the characters are like so cool. We plan on cosplaying them at the next Bone Marrow Con. <laughs> Themes are too in your face. This is just a marketing trick. Oh, Terminator Laura. What did you say earlier? I don't know. Shut up and take my money. I need sequels. Harikuyo. Let's keep looking. Which this was this one, right? Oh, we have all of them. We went through all of them. Okay, now it's time to choose. I said this is my favorite, right? This one, yeah, but I think it's too much for a first first time read. So again, this game is about choosing your first comic f as a gift for your father. Well, nah, I wouldn't choose this one. I mean, it would probably be fun. And everyone has different parents again, but yeah. Would I really give this to my dad, though? I don't know. I would probably feel weird about it, and he would be like. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> yeah. It's hard to find like a middle ground. I mean, of course, this would be the best option. No. Um, an awesome option for everyone because everyone likes cats. I mean, not everyone, but cute cat comics. Go on. <laughs> yeah. And I don't even know what our choice will do if we just choose and that's it. Or if we get like an end to this. I don't know. I just have to check whether I'm also recording and I am because I have it on when I stream it automatically of course but yeah I was like wait I have to check <laughs> am I still streaming yes I am <laughs> okay so I like this one hmm and it's cool it would be like challenging but also relatable in a way I think what happens to others oh yeah it is <laughs> Looks like an elegant present, but still, some of the content is a bit triggering to me. But my ex loved this a bit. Hmm. What happens now? I don't know. But still, what means but still? It is. It is triggering. Because again. This is 11.45 of Vivid Life and it's about, like, the girl thinks the skeleton doesn't belong to her, like, her skeleton, her skeleton, the one inside of her doesn't belong to her, so she, uh, see, she uses an x-ray to look at her own body and then cuts stuff out and so on, it's like, ugh, it's a bit gross to play or watch a I also watched a video of m from my favorite Let's Player, he also played Gronk, German one. Um, yeah. And he was also like, oh. at some point, like, girl, don't do this, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, and I never got to play this game. Hmm. 
Nah. Some of the content is a bit triggering to me. Let's keep looking. Oh, okay. So we... What is... for all of them. Oh, also I found this interesting. Mm. Nope. No, I don't want to do this. Also, a thriller would probably be the best for my... For my life. I would probably choose this. Yeah. It's the most realistic for him to actually read. <laughs> Enough shapes of philosophy already on Facebook. What does this change you seem to much? I wouldn't want for his traumas to resurface. Uh, <laughs> In my family, there's a lot of stuff people don't deal with. But this is actually kind of accurate. I like that it like, has such universal options. What if this changes me? <laughs> I want just to see. Ah, good thing my dad isn't really on social media. Because some streamers' parents who watch their children's streams and so on, and I would be like, ha, ha yeah, he wouldn't want like that. <laughs> Maybe this one. <laughs> this would make him think comics are immature. <laughs> I used to love this, but I'm not sure anymore. Maybe get something with better ideas about masculinity. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> mm. We have this one, this one. Interesting that they give you such second thought options. <laughs> Too weird. He will just leave through it. Leave, leave through it and abandon it among his magazines. I don't think my dad has ever read poetry. He has at school, I think. Yeah. This would probably be too weird for my dad, though. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Um, maybe this is telling way too much for myself. I never spoke about sex with my dad. I don't know how my father feels about sex with octopus. <laughs> is there... no, right? No, okay. <laughs> Also, these fingers are like, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Furry sick. Mm -mm. <laughs> Good, are you okay with this? Wait, did we? Went from like this one. Yeah. The golden relict. The relict. <laughs> Maybe this one. The theme is too literal, it's embarrassing. The visuals are too complex, that would be confused. I don't want to remind him I don't like to go hiking with him. What do you like that? So, what arguments go against cat? Cute cat neighbor. Cats. <laughs> I'd love to read Pinsky in the Sunday paper, but this is too mainstream. I don't want him to think I'm still a toy. The poles are covered. <laughs> My dad always mocks me for using tarot. Tarot? Tarot? How do you say it in English? We say tarot in German. He's got nothing, I lost it. I wish he could appreciate it. I appreciate my check I'm not into Tarot, Tarot, or however you say it myself, so... But I don't mock anyone for doing that stuff, unless their belief in it harms others, so... Yeah. Mm. Oh, there was no one 
hier Ping Pong haben müssen. <lacht> uh, not sure if this is the best way to introduce that to ponies to be feminine. I feel like you laugh at me if I get it. Well, my dad would probably be like, what? Why? <laughs> this one but here it's true that it doesn't say about anything about the character I mean the present is obviously set to connect somehow like be like hey I want to tell you something with this so I personally probably would choose this one although it would be a bit of a stretch there whatever be like why would you give him this? <laughs> Maybe this one. This is the one. What happens now? I'll take this one. Yes, it's a gift. A sticker to add on the wrapping. That is cute. Why do they get me emotional with, with just like this little thing? I'm just like, oh my gosh, why is it so beautiful? Um, hmm. I love you, I hope you like it, I miss you, thank you for everything, I'm proud of you. Um, uh, I'm between, thank you for everything, and I uh, love uh, because that's just cute. Good thing to say, always good to say. Say I love you to your parents if you do, if you have the chance to. <laughs> Deconstructing games always have a nice message. <laughs> and are very diverse and interesting. And, yeah. That's why I love their work. And I very much recommend the Red Strings Club. Mm. And on my two Let's Play or to stream. Let's play and stream this is also Gods will be watching by them. Yeah. I think this is more this is more like a thing that stands on its own and this fits more to like a gift, like to the book. Comic book gift. I don't know. It's I think it's more connective. Connecting, I don't know what it is. Hmm. Why is it so warm in my room? I don't know. I turned the heater off, but I can't open the window because it's raining outside and you will just hear the rain. Although that's not the worst background noise. Especially when we switch to the death stranding <laughs> Um. Essays on empathy. Thank you for everything. Or essays on essays on empathy with I love you. Thank you is always good to say. And so is I love you. Mm. I really want to say this true. <laughs> self-exploration and a hitman and a struggling wife. Hmm. What does thank you for everything in connection to you, let's say? What does my intuition say? <laughs> hmm.
Mm, I love you. Oh, no! No, our decision didn't... No! Oh, goodbye. Thank you for playing, and that was it. Nice one. I love games that make you think. <laughs> oh, all covers were made by us except for Sex Stories magazine. Check out their cool project look for it. <laughs> so if you want to check it out, truly it is. <laughs> oh, the fingers but made this or makes such awesome music. So thank you for playing the book shuffle. Written and designed by Jordi de Paco character and visual designed by Ivan Papiol. I hope I say the names right. Um, additional art and layout by Marinetita. Marinetita? <laughs> I don't know how to say words. And music and sound design by The Fingerspit. They are also so kind on Twitter. Because sometimes comment on their stuff and woo. Deconstructing 2020. Okay. That's it. That means I'm turning on my PlayStation. Okay, so YouTube. Goodbye, I hope you enjoyed this. How long was it? Less than an hour, definitely. Half an hour, maybe? I don't know. But it's definitely one episode, so... Bye-bye, thank you for watching.